This administration and the current majority in the legislature have made it a priority to attack education in this state, first by raiding the school aid fund to help pay for a tax cut for some of our corporations in this state that didn't need that tax cut. And the funding cuts were way too drastic. Um, and unfortunately, we had a, a surplus. You know, we actually could have helped our schools do a little more. We could have actually given our schools a little more in funding and to see that surplus diverted uh, for um, a huge business tax, which many businesses haven't even asked for. They've, they've asked for a skilled workforce. They've asked for an educated workforce. The decisions we've ma the, this legislature's made to privatize education, I think it's wrong-headed. Charter schools, they are options, but they're not the panacea to fixing our public education crisis. And it should be about the kids learning and what are the best techniques for them to learn, not who can make a money and who can make a profit. If we're serious about it, Michigan's future, the first thing we ought to do is prepare the students for tomorrow's challenges. It's no longer a decision about what we'll do tomorrow or even today. We have to prepare by making sure that we have the best trained, well, most well-educated students in the world because of this global economy. And yet we've done everything that we can, seem to me, to bring down education. We've cut the size, uh, the amount of money that we spend on schools. We, we attached a $470 per student reduction to the schools. We raided the school aid funds, and yet we told the schools to do more with less. You've got to have an educated workforce. That's what business wants. That's what we need to be prosperous. And every time higher ed takes a hit like this, which has been unprecedented, we lose in that fight to have an educated workforce and to pull people into Michigan. Governor Rick Snyder has forced top-down a deliberate and calculated agenda to take money from children and to give it to his corporate benefactors and the folks who fund his campaigns. This is a travesty. Michigan children deserve better, and the Republicans in this state are going to be made to do better by the children of this state. 2012 was our time. We return to excellence on the Democrats' watch.